Here's another example of a number problem uh, in our list of word problems. And I made something a little bit different here for you. For example, let's say you want to do 78 problems and you have four days to do it in. And you want to do more in, in front, more in the first day and less later. So let's say that the restrictions are that each day you want to do five less problems than you did the day before. So how many problems should you do each day? So we have a total of 78 problems and you want to do five less each day. So you say let x equal the number of problems done on the first day. Okay, then how many problems do you do the second day? Well, if it's five less, then x minus five equals the number of problems done the second day. And then the next day you do five less again, so x minus 10 equal the number of problems done the third day. And finally, x minus 15 equal the number of problems done the fourth day. Okay, so on the first day you'll do x problems, five less on the second day, 10 less on the third day, 15 less on the fourth day. And if you add them all together, they should add up to all 78 problems that you must do. So we can then write that x plus x minus five plus x minus 10 plus x minus 15 add up to the 78 problems you have to do. First, we get rid of the parentheses. So we write x plus x minus five plus x minus 10 plus x minus 15 equals 78. We have four x's on the left side, so 4x equals 78. And then we're going to move the minus 5, the minus 10, and the minus 15 to the right side. And of course, if we move things across the equal sign, the sign changes, so this becomes plus 5, plus 10, plus 15. Then we add all the numbers together. So we had 4x is equal to, that would be 10, 25, 30, that would be 108. Divide both sides by the numerical coefficient in front of the x, the 4, that cancels, and so x equals 27, which means on the very first day, you must do 27 problems. On the second day, you can do 5 less or 22 problems. On the third day, 10 less or 17 problems. And on the fourth day, 15 less or 12 problems. And again, to make sure that we did this correctly, let's add these all together. That should add up to 78 right there. So 7 plus 2 is 9, 16, 18, 8, carry the 1, 3, 5, 6, 7. Ha, ah, bingo, correct answer. So here again, a very nice example of how you deal with number problems. Typically, again, in, in summary, always let x be the smallest number if possible or the first number, in this case, we'll let x be the number of problems done on the first day, five less on the second, five less than the second day on the third, and five less than the third day on the fourth. Add them all up, should add up to 78. Okay, so if you work the problems this way, they're actually pretty simple and pretty straightforward.